Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer. We have the Rhino, you have the Punter. We have a non-alcoholic beer from Niagara College, technically, but this is Mad's Virgin. Mad Virgin Craft Brewed Lager. Ooh, alcohol she's mad free. She's a virgin. It's a lager. So this is a Mothers Against Drunk Drivers beer, and what does it say back here? Ten percent of the net sales go to Mad Canada. Yeah. Beautiful. Mad Virgin Drink. Look. 387 Kingston Road, Toronto, Ontario, www.madvirgindrink.com. Ingredients, water, malted barley, hops, modified tapioca starch, Irish tapioca. moss, Ooh, I like it. and it Ooh. contains wheat. Wait, where, where's the wheat? Sounds though? like a pudding. So it's not gluten-free. Wait, okay, you're, you're the <laughs> chef here, okay? Contains oh, wheat okay. is the last thing. All right. Ingredients are water, malted barley, hops, Modified tapioca starch and Irish malt contains wheat. Where's the wheat? That sounds Where's the like, beef? That sounds like a weird-ass additive somewhere. Adjunct. Ingred <laughs> uh, sorry, the, not the ingredients, the... Uh, unless, unless Irish malt is different. Well, Irish moss is just moss. Irish moss, I just said malt. <laughs> Irish, Irish moss. moss. Oh, that's just, that's uh, fish bladder stuff. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Huh? Okay, yeah. Yeah, 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 we, yeah, we both knew that. Okay, so they said Irish really malt. Uh, yeah. where, where's the wheat? That, um, um, I have no idea where the wheat is. I have no idea. No, I, I can't. Where's the wheat? Anyway, there's, there's it, talk, it talks about being alcohol-free, the first, uh, the world's first alcohol-free craft brewed lager. And I'm going to have to take them on that because I'm not going to do the research to find out if any well, other craft breweries have done non-alcoholic... Beers, beers are done by a big company. Are yeah. done by a big company. So it's good that this is out there. Yeah, I, so I, I'm just not sure about that claim. I don't know a hundred percent if that claim is hundred percent. I'm true. just hoping that for. But a here, craft here's the thing that I find funny, flavor. right? They talk about how the ABV ch changes how high the alcohol, sorry, the calories are. So the higher the alcohol, the higher your calories, right? This is a hundred calories. hundred. Uh, so Molson 67 is three percent alcohol and 67 calories. Uh, the water, though. Do we need the water? The water. <laughs> the water has all the calories in it. Uh, now, again, I'm not actually making fun of the beer. It's great to have a craft brewed yes. alcohol free yeah, lager, especially cool. if this tastes good. I'm just making fun of some of the stuff on the can. And if you can't handle that. Uh, hey, John, when did you start canning? Else. And yeah, Niagara College, when did you start canning? I, the I've been to the college the all the time, and uh, I've never seen a canning line there. Because I'd like to see some more of their stuff. Oh, there's, there's a whole lot of suspicious going on here that I don't really <laughs> fucking appreciate. So, anyway, Mad Virgin Craft Brewery. <laughs> Lager oh, no, no. was created at Niagara College no, Teaching no, no. Brewery. Oh, created here. Handcrafted yeah. recipe delivers best-in-class flavor with zero percent <laughs> alcohol. So it was created there. <laughs> and everything is zero <laughs> except for carbohydrates, which is twenty-seven, twenty-four grams, which is zero percent. How is twenty-four grams zero percent? More suspicion. So now. <laughs> I'm, I'm not. I'm not going to keep going like this. I've already said my <laughs> piece. Too easy. I've already said my piece. Oh, it's got that same look of non-alcoholics. Ah. Well, I'm glad it, it happened in Niagara. Yes. First of all, it does look like a oh. an adjunct lager, though. Yeah. It looks it does look like, like a lager. Adjunct. There you guys go. Zero so, percent alcohol. Adjunct lo Wow. And you know what? I'm actually looking at huge bubbles on the top. I thought that was actually my, hair, my glass being dirty, but it's not. It's just those bubbles are weird. Beautiful, are bright weird. white head. Beautiful, yeah, strong really color. It's like a we lager. all gotta find out. Oh, God. Because my mouth won't lie. What the heck? What the fuck is What is that? That's like cream of broccoli soup. Oh, it's that vegetable. Oh, it's that vegetable flavor we get. It smells like apartment building. <laughs> Oh, it does. It does. Oh, all the old people. Place. It, you know what it is? It's all the different people cooking different things. It's Brussels the, sprouts. It's the smell. Uh, I'm, th I'm thinking vegetable. cream of broccoli soup. It's oh. a veggie. It's a veggie. It's no Every non alcoholic we've had always has that. Pass that to my wife. Let her smell that. Like after so the Brussels sprouts, so does cabbage. The broccoli soup is it could have something to it, though. Oh. I don't think it's going to be horrible. It it's might not right, taste horrible, like, but that is a horrible smell. This no. actually, we, we did the Coors Light non-alcoholic, like and it didn't dog. taste horrible, but it smelled no, like this. It smelled like yeah. broccoli and other veggies. I think it has must be the wheat. Um, but this is, the it must be wheat. the wheat. The mystery but, wheat. Actually, that's probably the Irish moss. Maybe they just added the wheat for a little more body, you know? Um, they don't here, here's my thing, though. If it, all it is supposed to be is malted barley, hops, and all that, and uh, Where's the fruit not, not fermented. How is it not sweet like yeah. actual malt when it's boiling? Like you'd think that's what you'd smell. 
Yeah, I don't smell any sweetness. It just smells like a plain vegetable. Let's try it. Cheers to that. Fuck, it tastes like tonic water. It yeah. does. It there's does. nothing much there's to nothing it. There's nothing to it. Nope, there's nothing. That's what I said. There's nothing to it. It's like a plain well, tonic water. Don't care. Mad? It's not down. a dumper. It's just not, nothing. Hey, here's the thing, Mad. Break that down. Mad, I know what you do is a good thing. You know, you're all wow. against drunk driving. Yeah. I, I'm against drunk Total driving. Uh, it's, I totally respect that. You're about trying to find things for people that are the designated drivers to drink and still think that they're drinking with their Ooh, friends. That's what pops for. This, this isn't it. You're yeah. saying it's a craft? It's a craft, non-alcoholic. But you know uh, what? It tastes mm. just like the big brand non-alcoholic. Okay. And again, I have to say. If you were walking around with that in your glass, mm -hmm. you would think you're drinking beer. No, I'm just saying. But if you were walking around, you would think you were drinking beer. Yeah. Who would think? The people you would watching think. you? Or you? Exactly. No, no. People watching you. But that's the same thing you. as any non-alcoholic beer. Every non-alcoholic beer but looks you drink the same. It, it looks yellow. And there's nothing. There's absolutely Why are you a nothing to me. Stout? See, I, I'm, getting, I'm getting a slight <laughs> bit to of, me, uh, I made of as well vegetable be, in it, and then nothing. There's no aftertaste water. at all, but there's a yeah, slight... There's slight well, I mean, there really is a good non-alcoholic drink like, out there. If you're making non-alcoholic beer, why don't you make something that, like a porter or something dark? I love turnip. So do I. Do you guys do you guys get that, or is am I turnip. just on turnip. on my like own turnip. on this? I taste a boiled vegetable taste. We have all of every non-alcoholic we have except for that one that was good. Turn up the shit. caliber from Guinness. What well, could be that the was moss. good? And uh, the Baltica was good too. I just taste a watered down version of tonic water. That's See, it. I, yeah. I get, I get, uh, I get a turnip boiled water. vegetable it's taste, and then nothing. It's gone. <laughs> yeah, it's gone. Nothing. Yeah, it tastes exactly. like something that's steamed, like something, like a vegetable. Yeah, like broccoli, water. Brussels sprouts, anything like that. Yeah, like if you drink like the, the, the drink water, water afterwards, oh. and with a little bit of but time. carbonated. Yeah. Uh, is it bad? No, it's not no. bad. I mean, it's better than a lot of them out there. But oh. this is this is supposed to be a craft brewed. Yeah, a lager. A craft brewed uh, non-alcoholic lager. Lager. What I would That's expect out of this is basically what you taste out of the wort right before mm -hmm. you put the mm -hmm. yeast in. That beautiful sweet yeah. taste that you get from uh, no the sweetness. wort before you put the yeast in. That's what I would expect out of it. Um, I'm or not like any like sweet. a Malta. You know what? You Malta. Win. There you go. You want a you want a non-alcoholic beer? Malta. Go ahead and buy Malta or Tiger Malt or go. anything oh, like that. Tiger Malt. That yeah. one give a malt at least from the beer. And it's going to be cheaper than this. And yeah. no, I'm not downgrading what you did, John. Or be, <laughs> no. uh, you know what? I found out that I have to start just reiterating what I'm actually saying yes. because people are getting all offensive all no, the time. It's just our opinion. Oh, you offended me with what? You, you, I'm not saying that this isn't a bad idea. No. I'm not saying that you did a bad job. I'm just saying, why do this and say it's a craft brewed lager when it tastes like this? Uh, like it doesn't taste like a crap. What what you want to do is make a beer that take well a non alcoholic beer that tastes like beer. Like beer. That's if that that's what they're trying to say they're I'm doing here. Wrong. Just once. Well, nice somebody if likes tasted like a beer. Yeah, you know what I mean. And it's but, possible. I mean, the closest thing you get is the malt beverages at a grocery store. They're the closest thing to actually tasting like a beer, and they still don't taste like a beer. Well, you know why? Because they've got a little more. And where's the hops to it? Where's the hops flavor this? to it? The hops should be right? on the background. I'm drinking this, and it's just water after I get that yeah. boiled vegetable taste. That's all I'm getting. At least with like what you're saying, it's the malt beverages, again. you get a little more yeah. flavor to it. You're not you're not gonna be able to get alcohol. I pity you because he's like thrusting while he's saying. I was thinking the same. That's what I just said. He's totally fisting the air over here. Vanessa, I got flavor. <laughs> uh, on that note <laughs> out of 10 as a non-alcoholic beer probably a 6 as a drink on its own probably a 3 for me non-alcoholic I'm going to give it a 4 or 5 a drink on its own I'm going to give it a 2 3 how about you guys you all drank it uh, it's too much like every other non-alcoholic I've had and I thought it was going to taste like beer well, that's the, I was my problem was like I beer. think I over that's, you reached know, on what I thought that, it was going to be. You get that be. every time, once in a while too. You over you yeah. overthink what it's going to taste like. Yeah. And I was hoping it was going to taste good, and then I got because the same non-alcoholic beer. Because who did it? I actually else. was leaning more well, towards. Well, I shouldn't say I shouldn't say the same non-alcoholic as everything else because no. it wasn't the same as everything no. else, but it was close. Yeah. So I'm and, just I'm just wondering if you, you guys have never seen a canning line there, maybe. They Niagara College and Mad got together, and then well, that's what I said. They created it. Didn't say they, else. you know, 
I was excited. Yeah, about it doesn't this. it doesn't have an address on here other than uh, their yeah. like NiagaraCollege.ca and oh, this. So they maybe maybe, it. maybe the wheat's in the can. <laughs> <laughs> I call bullshit on the whole operation. Fucking negative twelve. Assholes. <laughs> <laughs> it's just making me more angry every second that goes by looking at it and thinking about it. It's fucking well, awful. It, it, it has Mad Virgin Drinks address on here, so maybe they have a canning line there. Yeah. Maybe they brew it at uh, Niagara the, College they and then send did it up the to Toronto. And, yeah, that's what I'm wondering, because it's a created well, uh, the, by... The way the law is in Ontario, they wouldn't be able to sell this at the college unless they brewed it at the college. That's right, yeah. So they probably brewed it at the college, send it up in a tanker truck yeah. up to uh, MAD, and then, they, and then they can it there and then bring it back I to the know. college. In my opinion... There's a lot of good non-alcoholic drinks out there that taste mm -hmm. like beer, but... Coke? Like, all the like to me, if I want to drink a non-alcoholic drink in a bar, I will have a Coke. Or a water. Or I, th a water. I, think, I think I gave a, what was it, a Chinese uh, a non-alcoholic non a really good score. I really enjoyed it. That that one, yeah, yeah, there are some, yeah. there are some yeah. good yeah. ones out there, and I mean, I think, the thing, I think the thing here is we all were hoping that this would taste yes. more like a beer. Yeah, give some more flavor I, to I it. I think we, well, yeah, we over opinion because of where it came from, I expected more. It's not that it's bad, it's just that my expectations yeah, uh, were very high. Yeah. <laughs> the smell is horrible. Yeah. My negativity is still based on suspicion. Okay, thank you guys for watching. Bye. Thanks. Yeah, that's what I think.